Yeah, you're fine. You will actually do work. Sorry, I was under the impression that elders did nothing except sit in their porch and say, Get off my damn lawn, you kids. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more Surviving the Aftermath, where we're about to hunker down for winter. Weather is coming again. It's going to get colder. The snows are going to come. People are going to freeze to death. Hey, that sort of thing is going to happen. But I'm more focused on cement. Yep, everyone's going to die soon, but I'm hyper-focused on cement. Because if I don't get some cement, I can't build the building that will help us get rid of some of this pollution. So I'm a little little boned on the whole cement thing. We have none. I have no ability to get any. Now, good news, Marshall and Garot just turned up. So they just walked back into town, which is fantastic. Salt and Platy are out doing some scavenging missions. I've got to figure out how to get some cement, and I think the only way I'm going to do that is some trading. Like Omicron over here, the settlement that we found recently, they've got 206 cement blocks. I'd love to get my hands on that, but I can't do that until I have a trade center. I also see that I failed their request. I knew that I would. I knew I have no capacity to do their request. They wanted us to build some rental property. We had no ability to do that. How about, uh, yeah, talk to me about Sintown. What have you got going on right now? Incoming raid. What do you need exactly? Weak bandits. So you want me to go deal with some bandits, and in return, you're going to give us rep, money, clothing, and some tools. Well, okay. I could probably cope with that. And when I say that, I largely mean that Marshall can cope with that. Oh, hang on. Enemy forces have been spotted heading our way. Well, those are the same people that Sintown wants us to take out. So we can kind of combo that up. Where did we go over here? Yes. Yeah, Garot, you and Marshall, I don't even need both of you for this, but you and Marshall are going to head out and deal with this nonsense. Marshall alone could take these guys out very, very easily. They're weak bandits, but I'll put the two of them out there anyway. All right, go back to here. What is it going to take for me to do the Trade Center? That's over in New Alliances. I got to go through Secure Lab to get trenches and trading posts. I'm I'll queue it up. I mean, we'll we'll get it started as we get more science points. The science points are coming in super slow. 80 every 24 hours. We've got 156 right now, but we may as well get it queued up. I've got to get some trading going on. I don't believe I have any ability to get concrete anytime in the near future. The concrete extractor Hoosie McWhats it thing is way down the infrastructure tree. I'm not getting that for a while. And I'm not even sure I've got any concrete around here. I haven't seen any. We've got plenty of plastic and plenty of underground plastic. We are well suited in plastic. I've got plastic for days. I don't have any concrete. Hang on, someone just popped up at the door here. What do you want? Do you see how many things I've got going on here? Do you, see, do you see how many things I've got going on? What is your problem? What do you want? A friendly society. Oh, they're from Sintown. Oh, hi, guys. We've been on a quest to find resources. We like you. You're fun. And your quests are relatively non... Well, I was going to say non-combative, but actually every quest you've given us has been combat. But it was just like a bear and some deer and some weak raiders. We like you guys. We're into you. And you have a CD hanging from your chest. I, that's very, very fun. Uh, would you care to trade? Yeah, sure. Absolutely. So what what are you offering? I don't suppose it's cement, is it? No, it isn't. So for 20, that looks like potatoes. I could get five clothes. For 30 planks of wood that I can do all day long, I'll get eight med kits. That seems very good. And I think those are iodine tablets. Those are good. I'd rather not give up the food, but I bet if I give them the best deal, we'll probably get some really good reputation. I don't want to give up the food because we're about to hit winter. And that's going to obviously have a problem with the field. So I'm going to give them a fair deal. 30 planks of wood that I can do all day long for eight med kits. Okay, we got 100 rep with them. That's solid. I will take that. Absolutely. Just for giggles, what does that make our rep with them? We are positive and climbing pretty high, pretty high. All right. I wonder what happens after positive. Do we get, like, super positive? Like, we will just give you tons and stuff all the time. See, I don't really care about trading with these guys. Because they've got, like, candy bars. That's great. That would definitely help our citizens be happy. But what I really, really need is cement. Now, I could put up a building here. We could do something with you. Modest tents will get me plus one population per day. 
plus one to me or plus one to you? Because I'm putting up the tents in your house. Greenhouse will get me plus two and additional trade resources added. That is very good. But the school thing, we did that over in Omicron. We put a school up in Omicron, and that is just plus 10 rep per day. That's 120 planks of wood, 50 cloth, and 10 uh, fun boxes. I believe we actually have that. I'm going to hold off for now. We're going we're gonna to come back to that. We're definitely going to build some stuff in Sin Town. Um, you know, later in the research tree, I can build more different buildings. How are you doing on your little go kill the Raiders thing, kids? You doing good? You having fun? Are you having fun working together? I hope you are. Marshall's more of a kick down the door guy, but Garot's got that sort of assassin thing. They're both a little beat up. I probably should have left them time to heal, but honestly, they're going to have zero problem with this. Actually, while I was up here looking, I noticed there's a completely unguarded thing of fuel with no hazards attached to it. Might go get that. And then I got to get another settler going because there's a whole observatory over here. I could be building a research outpost on and we have not done that. Okay, uh, who's assault? You're out in the world, right? What are you doing right now? Oh, yeah, I put you into the heavily irradiated area so you could get some tools. We really need those. Uh, not N Nadine is... Nadine could go out and scavenge. It's not the worst idea. You are a scavenger. It's kind of literally your job. I keep putting you in the line of danger every day, Nadine. I'm very sorry about that. Nadia. I'm sorry, Nadia. I, I misprint. It's not that I don't like you, Nadia. It's not. It's just that I'm not going to grow too attached to you because I am constantly putting you in front of a bear, in front of some insane deer, in front of radiation. I, you're just You're just doomed. Nadia, it's not personal. It's just somebody's got to be doomed. It may as well be you. Certainly not going to be Marshall. So Nadia slash Nadine, could you go? Where did Sintown go? It's up here. Why don't you go grab that fuel? Why don't you just go get that? We'll need that for something. If nothing else, for my car that has mystically disappeared. I went through the research, not particularly heavily, looking for, like, how do I access my car? Because I definitely got a car. I definitely got a car. And I don't see anything in here that says, here's where your car is. What's in reclaimable materials, by the way? Oh, an advanced scrapper. That's pretty good. Does my car live in here? Bartering, concrete. Yeah, we're not getting to concrete anytime in the near future. Parts. I don't suppose it's parts production. A mechanic shop. Okay, uses energy to convert scrapper's byproduct into mechanical parts. Uh, not what I need, but good to know it's there. Ah, hang on. Motorization. A garage. Okay. A gar it is in here. A garage. So that's... My car is just probably up on blocks in the middle of the colony until we get a garage for exploring the wilderness with a trusty vehicle. That's where it lives. It's way down resources. It's not... Wow. It's going to be forever before I get that car up and running. Wow, both of our food storages are full. Holy moly. All right, I'll build another one. That's fine. Uh, maybe I'll put one up here. I am totally okay if we build more food storage. That just seems very, very sensible. So food storage, I'm particularly looking at food for a trade item. That's kind of my thought. We do pretty well in food, but we don't do well in anything else. How about we put one, say... Right here. Put a food storage up in there. Uh, what's going on? People are going to leave. People are irradiated. Those two things are probably connected. Yeah, three colonists that are irradiated and three colonists are going to go. I have medical facilities. I have got several of them, in fact. You're going to have to cope with your own problems. I, I can't solve everything for you. Well, it's winter. The fields are dead. Good thing we've got plenty of food. I Wow, both food storages full. That is amazing. We do have a lot of food. We have a lot of food. And we got our new diner up and running, too. How are you doing over here? Uh, you're Benjamin, right? No, you're Alexander. Sorry, you're Benjamin's twin brother. I forget. Yeah, so you take five food, you use one firewood, and you make six prepared meals, which has got to be better than just eating raw food. Damn those toxic piles. Someone should clean them up. You know what, Camilla? You go out, you find me some concrete. I will help you clean them up. Well, Salt's done getting heavily irradiated and grabbing some tools, which is good because we desperately need those. Um, you didn't even do that badly, Salt. You're not that bad. And I see Platy is done, too. You come back to the colony with those tools. 
Um, Platy, you are done. You also got tools. Fantastic. That's exactly right. what we need right now. All sorts of tools need to come in. You guys will drop those off. That'll wow. All of my things just went away. Um, it's just nice to see. Oh, they're back. Oh, good. Yes, good. It's just nice to see fewer things on the left-hand side here. Um, I'm, I'll try to build an entertainment building. I'll see what I can do. Food storage is done. Yay, that's a positive thing. Well, Salt and Platy just rolled into town. They're just dropping off those tools right now. I'm going to wait for whoever didn't drop off their tools to drop off their tools. And then I'm sending them right back out again, which actually just kind of makes me a little nervous because I'd only have one specialist in town if we get attacked. However, a group of survivors are about to rock in. Well, what have you got going on? You have two kids and four elders. Well, that's not very good, is it? I'm kind of thinking about rejecting them. I... I want to invite you in. I, I really do. It's just that you suck. And I don't know how to make you any better. I mean, two kids will do a little bit of work, but the elders aren't going to do anything. They can help the colony as workers or carriers, but it will no longer reproduce. Oh, actually, you're fine. Yeah, you're fine. You will actually do work. Sorry, I was under the impression that elders did nothing except sit in their porch and say, get off my damn lawn, you kids. No, no, you will actually work. You're just going to die soon. That's fine. I have no problem with that part of it. Okay, uh, Badlands Oasis. Uh, five colonists are irradiated. People are still unhappy. Uh, are we, do we have a homelessness issue right now? Uh, we will soon. Okay, we will very, very soon. So let's get another tent going up, uh, preferably within the range of a burn pit. So let's put this guy up sort of right. No, I kind of want a road going out there. Uh, sorry, you may not ha you may not be warm for winter. Hang on, I need to build a road before I can build you a house because it all has to make sense for me. All right, so we'll get a road to wrap around there and then go back to this. Let's put this guy... Uh, you can kind of live, you can live right next to the burn pit. That's going to be nice and comfy for you, whoever gets to live there. Uh, how's the team doing out here, guys? Did you get to the raiders yet? Yeah, you're on your way. You're on your way, and, and Nadia is right behind you to go get that fuel. Uh, what else is out here that Salt and or Platy could be going getting? Iodine pills over here. There's some components over there. All right, we could look at doing that. Might start clearing out some of these raiders soon. Anything over here? There's some medical supplies over here we could go take care of. We've got a fair bit of medical supplies, but it's never, ever going to hurt to have more. Um, who's not as badly banged up? Actually, Platy and Salt, you're both basically fine. Um, Platy, can you go out to the world map, please? Sadly, not in a car, but someday, Platy, someday. Go get those medical supplies, please. Now, what I do have right now with that influx... Oh, hang on, hang on, there's another thing. Slow it down. Mean-looking group at the gate. What I do have with that little influx of population is some free workers now. So I'm going to put somebody else in the lumberyard. Oh, I put a child in there. Oh, good. Child labor is alive and well and living in Dave's awesome colony. Uh, what's your problem, Chief? What's going on? Mercs. Ooh. You do look tough. You got a big crossbow there. Ooh, I don't like you at all. All right, we're on the hunt and we need some supplies. Hand them over. No one gets hurt. Here's the problem. Neither Marshall nor Garot are present. You know what? You only want 25 planks of wood. Someday, Chief, you're going to come back here and Marshall's going to be here. And you are just going to look at Marshall and go, whoop, never mind. Walking away. Nothing to see here. Today, you're getting some wood. Okay, and everyone's sad about that. Everyone's sad. Uh, we do have another specialist unlock we could think about. If I can afford it. What have you got? 700. I can't afford you. Erica scientist. Would have been great to immediately make you into a settler, but unfortunately, I cannot afford you. Sorry. Yeah, everyone's super sad right now. Oh, everyone's very, 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 very sad. Yeah, the, everyone's sad. Every, they're hungry. They're irradiated. They're cold. Disagreement. Okay, that's, that's what just happened there. They're restless. They probably need some entertainment. I get it. And poor shelter. Well, there's not much I can do about that right now. That one you're kind of stuck with. Well, Marshall just showed up to deal with the bandit issue, and Garot is right behind him, so that should take care of itself very, very quickly. Those guys should go down like paper to the two of them. Either one of them could handle it very, well, handily, but two of them together, not a problem. We're all, this metal scrap is almost done. Uh, Ben's hypothermic, Riley is irradiated. That is par for the course, guys. Look at it. 
it's a heavily irradiated snow-covered wasteland. You're gonna get cold and irradiated. Yeah, the battle between Marshal Garrot and the Raiders happened so fast, I didn't even know that it happened. They just rocked in, took him out, no problem. Uh, oh, we didn't do it in time. I totally killed them for you guys. Oh, must have been just shy on the time. This is why I gotta get that car. All right, well, nothing I can do about that. Nothing I can do about that. All right, they're still positive with us. This is broadly fine. I'll learn to cope with that. Again, looking at buildings. Maybe the school. I'm going to try and put the school up here. Yeah, put the school up there. I don't actually know that I have 10 fun boxes, but we're going to give it a shot. Uh, Marshall, Garrot, while you're out here, I mean, you're here. Uh, there, actually, there's fun boxes right there. Uh, who's out and about? Nadia. I'll have you pick those up on the way home. Uh, you know what? Salt's home. Salt's home. Go to the world map. You're good with the fun boxes. You love the fun box action. Uh, that that sounded so much better in my head than when it came out of my mouth. Uh, go and retrieve those, please. And then, like, let me know when you're done. Ah, no, I didn't read it properly. Again, that's a scavenger outpost thing I need for that. Okay. Well, you're out on the world map. What could you theoretically go get? You could go get... Well, there's another car. Wait, no, there isn't. That Those are people. Weirdly, Salt would win in that fight. Do we... Do we want to just go, like, take random people out? Is that... Is that how we should do that? I think... I'm, I might be misreading this, and I probably am. It looks like these guys are going to Sintown from Omicron. So it's a society convoy. That's like a thing we can build at some point. I don't remember what it does or anything, but... That's, that's like a thing. So no, I probably shouldn't attack that. Salt, um, what could you be doing with your time? I might have you just go up and get those components. Uh, antibiotics over there. Yeah, go get the components. Those are probably going to be really useful in the future. Now, Marshall and Garrot, like I was saying, while you're here, why don't you... Okay, here, here's what you're going to... Oh, I should probably send you back to be healed a little bit. No, we're going to start picking at the Doomsday Militia here. Okay, so Marshall, head down there. And Garrot, come here. Come here, and you shoot. Which one did I just send Marshall to? That one? Yeah, that one. You also go down there. And if necessary, if it's looking dicey, I could send somebody else out there too just for backup. But I think Marshall and Garrot have got that fine. We're going to start picking at those. Well, we finally accumulated enough research points to start researching the secure lab, which will eventually lead me to trading. So that's something, at least. I'd really... Nadia, I am looking at you closely as a new settler to set up a new science outpost. Uh, probably, I'm sure comments is probably exploding, going, no, you need to set up other outposts, too. You need scavenging outposts and all sorts of things. But science, that's... I can't get things until I know how to do the things. And science is the one speed bump right now. We've run out of places locally to just go and get science. On that, though, Hex, you're not doing anything What's right that? now, and you haven't for a while. Why don't you go scout something? I know it's not your job. You're a scientist. I get that. But go, like, scout this area. We haven't done any scouting in a while, and then I might send you out to check out what else is going on around here. All right, well, we finished the secure lab, so we may as well build a secure lab. I can't see a reason not to. It will help us with those sabotage issues. There's that society depot right there. Society-bound convoys. Do I want that? I'm not sure if I want that. Is that the one that... Hang on. Is that... Go go away. Go away. That's Is that the one that I already built? Because there's a lot of those, like, you know, new alliances buildings. This is the society depot. Okay, I've already got that. So that's the thing that sends the materials back and forth to build the things in the places. Got it. Right. Back to the uh, thingamajiggy there, the uh, secure lab. Okay, that's going to take... Ah, well, there's those components right there. I've got plenty of them right now, and Salt is out to get some more. Where should this live? This should also be somewhat centrally located, I feel. I'm going to put the... Oh, there's stuff there. Let's put this sort of here. No, put it down here, because I, I want to have to plan... I'm going to have to plan my roads. It's, it's nothing without the roads. 
Well, little of column A, little of column B. Colonist Henry died of old age, but Savannah's been mutated. I'm not sure which is worse. Metal deposit is depleted. That we can fix. That we can... No, it's actually not. Well, there's one right next door. Just go get the one that's right next door. How much is in this? Yeah, there's 400 in there. You guys are going to be totally fine on that. Uh, no, it's not. George is hypothermic. Strange noises. Oh, God. What now? What? A piece of the past. Wait, accept the computer for 200 science points? Done. I, I don't even care. What did we lose? Some food? Great. We're good with food. That's 200 science points right there. 200. And now we're doing trading posts. Oh, that was a huge jump. I needed that so badly. Thank you, guy with the computer. I don't even care about reading your thing. All I see is 200 science points in exchange for literally anything. And we've got food. We can do food. Now the secure lab is done. Oh, you need power. Oh, dang. I don't do that, man. Yeah, sorry, dude. I don't... We don't do electricity yet. Uh, who are you? George, we don't do electricity. Uh, I don't know how to help you at this point. Uh, all right, specialists are ready. Can, this is... Uh, go away. I don't care about Colonist Riley. Everyone's mutated, irradiated, and hypothermic. It's a good old time around the awesome colony. Who's done a thing that they would like to tell me about? Not George, uh, not uh, Marshall and Garrot, because... Ah, you have. Okay, Nadia. So you got all your things. Great. Confirm that. Uh, go back to town, first of all. Actually, I was... No, go back to town. Drop the fuel off. <sighs> Nadia, you might become a settler, because I'd love to see some more science coming in. Although it's only two days until the next settler. If they're cheap, I might just grab them. Okay, a few hours later, and we have got trenches and trading posts. I know I'm not researching anything now. That's fine right now. That's fine. So where does trading post live i would assume it would have been in exploration of some sort right don't don't lie to me game we've definitely done trading posts that unlocks trading posts for faster trade convoys and trenches which is fun uh go back here really it's not in here somewhere maybe it's something i unlock in the other town maybe it's a building i put up here rather than in my own town. I'm a little fuzzy on this one. Uh, go to Sin Town. Can I build something new with you? No. I could spend 500 rep with you that I don't actually have to unlock a new slot. I'm a little... I'm, not, I'm a little fuzzy on this. I assumed that the trade depot would be like the society depot and we'd put up a building. Talk to me about trenches. Is that like on the main gate or something? Is this an upgrade? No. How do we... Game? Game? How do we do any of the things that I just unlocked? Yeah, I think if I'm reading this correctly and I'm not, this is something that I put in another town. Okay, I put in another town and then they will have a trading post. Do I possibly destroy the school in Omicron? Oh, that would look bad for Rep. Here is your brand new school. Yay! Thank you, people of Dave's Awesome Colony. Now the children of Omicron can find... We're demoing it so we can sell things to you. Oh, that makes us sad. It's not. It's nothing in here, right? No. No. Okay, we're still waiting on the 10 fun box. Ooh, could I cancel the one? In... Would that, would that be a rep hit? If I went and canceled the thing in Sin Town, but Sin Town doesn't have anything I want. Sintown doesn't have concrete. I don't really care about a lot of this stuff here. No, le leave it as is for right now, and we'll kind of suffer along. At bare minimum, at least we've unlocked it. We've done the research for it. With nothing much else to do, I'm going to put up another medical tent and try and deal with, you know, the mutants that live in my town. So put that up, say, oh, I don't know, there-ish. Call me when you're done. A uh, little friend has been lost. What is your problem? What? Are you bringing me research points and or concrete? Because I'm really only interested in those things. What What is the deal? Innocence lost. Oh my god, you look so sad. That's the saddest looking small child I've ever seen in my life. I can't find my cat. Oh, well, I'm interested now. Okay, she must have run away. Can't sleep without her. Oh no, we're totally looking for the cat. We're going to shut down the entire colony to look for a cat because that's exactly what I would do. So we're going to search for the cat. A uh, few colonists venture out. Success is uncertain. Party soon returns with a massive white cat. Lady Fuzzy Whiskers. Kid, you're all right. I like you. Ten happiness. Two colonists injured. Oh, right. Like we haven't had injuries before. 
Well, I may as well queue up some more research because we're almost at a point we could be doing something. I guess I can just start heading down the road of concrete scavenging. And we'll go through Handicraft to get that. That will get us new stuff, including the tool shop, which would be very good because then we wouldn't be reliant on our scavengers to go out and get tools. Now, I see things in red there. Metal scrap and looks like cloth. So probably once again, I'm, I'm unlocking something that I can't do. But let's go ahead and get it. Let's just start heading down that route. Let's research that. I know you can't do it right now, but you will very, very shortly. We've got 126 points. We'll have some more pretty soon. Now, we're a little low on water. We are losing water every day, but we've got quite a lot in storage. There's quite a lot, not only for ourselves, but also for the diner there. Okay, so we're not doing great in terms of producing it, but all of that storage that we did recently is paying off. We're not all going to die of thirst like we did last winter. Uh, we'll die of lots of other things. Injuries, radiation, hypothermia, mutation. We're going to die of tons of things, but thirst is not one of them. As you fade away from your mutated, irradiated injuries, you will at least have a nice cool glass of water to go out with. Oh, we just got ripped off. Somebody stole money from us. Ah, more people to surveillance vans. Yeah, there's another thing I need to research. Just totally lost, like, some silver there. Um, who can go away? All right, specialists are ready for action. What, who needs to talk to me about a thing? Oh, it's salt. Okay, cool. Uh, salt, I have heavily irradiated you again. So why don't you just come on home with those components and you can heal up a little bit. There you go. Anyone else? Oh, uh, Hex, you're done. Great, what'd you find? Any science by any chance? Research outpost again. Okay, um, go scout that area out. And who else is kicking around here? Platy, what are you up to these days? You're doing the medical supplies. Marshall, are you guys in combat? Oh yeah, you're doing things. Ooh, evenly matched. Evenly matched, you say? Uh, I don't think... Garot, are you here? I don't think Garot is technically here yet. That might tip the scales a little bit. I right, gotta keep an eye on that one. Yeah, when Garot comes in, that's gonna change radically. Garot's just not here yet. Okay, so I gotta keep a think about that. Those guys aren't nothing. Even Marshall is having a tough time, and Marshall is the best person ever in the history of people. But even he needs Garot as backup. So the next time we do that, I'll send like three or four people. I mean, the other guys are not fighters, but, you know, they'll get the job done. They'll be good backup. Well, it may say winter storm, but it looks like the snows are clearing a little bit. We're coming back up into... A little more moderate temperature. Water is back up. So I assume that means, yeah, the lake the lake is green. The lake is up and running. It's unfrozen. The lake is also green. Oh, dear. That can't be good. That can't be good, right? Uh, who's done a thing out here? Oh, it's you guys. Okay. So the second garrot turned up, no problem. Just a total... Oh, wait. No, you're still in, in combat. Who's... A little confused. A little confused here. Are you guys still fighting? Evenly matched, right? Attack the radio stations. Uh, Grot, are you... You fighting? Sorry, do you doing a thing? Where's Marshall? Marshall? Oh, I might actually have to have Marshall retreat. This is unheard of. No. No, that's impossible. No, that can't be right. Um, Grot, are you yes. in combat? I mean, it seems that you're in combat. You've got a little pistol icon here. I kind of assumed that you would uh, you would help out with this. Are you helping out with this now? Now you're helping out with this. Okay, that's a little more like it. Yeah, now, okay, that's better. All right, wow. Marshall kind of hanging by a thread there. I have to, no, Marshall can't die. Marshall's immortal. Well, we got Handicraft completed. So that should give me some new stuff, right? So over in here, got the tool shop. Metal sheets there for some tools. Great. And then the tailor. Cloth and into clothing. Well, I feel... I don't actually see an icon for it up top, but I feel we've accumulated quite a bit of cloth at some point. Well, obviously I'm going to put both of them up. That's just sensible. I want to start putting things... Ah, uh, wait, do you guys require power? Is this going to be a power issue again? Uh, let's put you, say... Uh, right next to this thingamajiggy here. Oh, good, the meteors are here. 
I'll check in on that in a second. I'm putting up a tailor shop. It's very important. And then the tool shop could live a little bit more, say, in this direction, right over there. Uh, people are threatening to leave. I'm not surprised. There was just a meteor shower. Well, let's queue up some research. Let's start going down community here. Or do I? Do I want to keep going down the cement route? Handicraft goes to bartering. Bartering goes to concrete scavenging. How... Oof. It's a lot of research to get there. I got to make people happier. But I've also got to get some concrete. Otherwise, I'm not going to get much built. What? Show me aggression release. The brawl pit. We're just going to have a fight club in the colony. 200 from 150, 125. Okay. I have to go education, communal living. That will actually get me better houses, too. Hmm. That is pretty good. Am I just going to make a beeline for Fight Club? Yeah, throw it in there. Throw it in there. Cue that research. Education to communal living. Aggression release. So we'll get schools, better houses, and a Fight Club. Marshall and Garot victorious, but just barely. A Pyrrhic victory for Marshall. Wow. Here you are, thinking that Marshall can walk through anything, but even he has his limitations. Did get 165 silver for that, which is great. Uh, Marshall, a doomsday broadcast uh, to the next radio station. Sure, absolutely. Marshall, come home. Marshall, come Sorry, home. Heal up. Garot, great job on backup there. Fantastic job. Everybody, what in the heck is that? That is a wild boar again. Boy, they're spikier than I remember them the last time. Wait, are you guys going to get in a fight if you just cross paths? Well, Garot's leading the way. I can't afford to have Marshall get in a fight. He's got five hit points left. Oh, Platy, you're done too. Neat. Uh, where did I have you get? Oh, the med kits. Cool. Uh, why don't you? You know what? While you're just standing right here, why don't you go scout this area out? Hex, how are you doing on the other one? You're still scouting down there. And that's about it. Everyone else is home. Omicron wants us to build a tavern. There's no way I can do that. No way I can do that. If I decline, I take a rep hit, right? I don't... I don't want to take the rep hit. This is so... I, I absolutely love playing Surviving the Aftermath. I have a ton of fun playing this. This is the only part that I have a strong disagreement with. I if I accept it, I can't do it, and I get a rep hit. If I decline it, I get a rep hit. That's kind of not fair. I'd like to be able to decline and say, no, I'm sorry, I can't fulfill your request. And they're like, okay, cool. Sorry to bother you then. Maybe come back later when you're a better colony. Um, I mean, I'll just, I'll just let it sit there. Frankly, I'll just let it sit there. Um, I'll go, I mean, again, I'd have to tear down the school and I'm not even sure I can put up a tavern yet. Uh, do we have any other buildings? No. I could spend 500 rep that I don't have to do that. No, I, I can't do it for you, and I'm going to take a rep hit to do that. Really, that's the only part of this game that I'm just not into. There's no way to avoid a rep hit with that. Um, what have you got going on? You have no requests right now. Good. Well, the tailor is done, and Audrey has just walked right in, getting ready to do some tailoring. I assume we've got this around here somewhere. I don't actually see the icon for it up here. How about just in, like, my general storage things? Can I... Yeah, there we go. There's 71 of them over there, and that one alone... How about the one up here? Just some planks of wood for right now. Okay, storage is full. The tool shop is done. Good, I was interested in that one as well. Oh, wow, already getting started. Already getting started. So Leo over here, he just grabbed some scrap and go, thank God I've been waiting to make tools the entire time. I've been sitting here patiently waiting to make tools. It's the only thing I know how to do is make tools. I have no other viable skills except making tools. Thank you for opening the tool shop. And it's also specialist time. What have you got? Pinkman the scavenger. You cost me 700. Well, I obviously can't afford you. I, I like your hair. I like your jacket, too. I'd immediately turn you into a settler. But unfortunately, don't have the money for you, dude. Sorry, ain't gonna happen. I'm sending Nadia and Salt out. They're both nicely healed up. There's nothing else for them to really be doing around here. So why don't you, Nadia, go get these uh, antibiotics there. Okay. And Salt, where'd you go? What could you be getting? I think somebody, somebody was done scouting. No, I was wrong. Okay, they're still doing their scouting missions. What else could we be getting around here? Something nice and easy to grab. Oh, are these just random bullets sitting around. Oh, yeah, go get some shotguns. 
definitely go get some shotgun salt. Okay, clothes are happening a little slowly. So six cloth for one, I don't know, nice jacket or something. It's a little slow, but it is, it's ongoing. I mean, we're never, we've got, we have zero. Every time you make one, somebody comes in and goes, oh, thank God I needed a jacket. Uh, food could be better than what I see right now. I'd like to see more of that. Are the fields back up and running? They are. How about we did another field somewhere? That might be a smart thing to do. So how about we did a small field... Uh, where can we get, like, I'd like to see it down here somewhere. 75, oh my god, there's so many things on the left-hand side of my screen. Seriously stop with that game. Pause. Pause. Okay, just chill. Chill out over there with the things on the left side. Okay, just chill out with the things on the left side there. I will get to them. I'm going to put a field down, game. Are you okay with that? Not really, because one of the things on the left side is I have no free workers. All right, 75, 75, zero. Um, do I really want it over here? Or do I want it maybe over here? No, I'm definitely going to run a road over there. How about way down here? Uh, what's down here? The fishing. 100% down here, actually. 100%. What if we put this right next to the Bessie Memorial Burial Pit, which was previously manned by Benjamin? Put that down there. See, see how that flies. Okay, what's your problem with your nightmares? Plagued by nightmares, dreams of a ghost town. All of the inhabitants had perished. Dark circles around his eyes. Take a pragmatic approach. Appease the restless spirit. Or the channel's answer, there's no time for this nonsense. I'm going to take a pragmatic approach. That sounds like it might make more people happy. It did, actually. It gave us 10 clothing and 11 components for what? Oh, so his dreams were kind of visions of, like, a real place. And... He got some stuff out of that place and gave it to us. Cool. Well, there's 10 clothing right there. Could you shut up about the clothing thing then? Nope. You're going to keep that one going. All right. We also finished education. So we've got a school. As usual, it is all going on in surviving the aftermath. Um, I need a road. I need, to, I need to plan this out a little bit better than it is right now. Give me a road that goes kind of around there. What is that? Underground plastic, I think. Over here to the other underground plastic. And then kind of up here, like that. All right, now let's put the school uh, as far away from anything comfortable as possible, as we do. So school could go... You're not going to let me put it... Oh, you will let me put it there. Hang on, what is that? It is underground plastic. Well, I probably shouldn't put something there, then. I'm probably going to mine that later. How about over here? Flip that around so it looks like a proper school. There we go. Okay, stick that guy over there. I should probably put a burn pit over here. How? What's your range? Yeah, this side of the school will be vaguely warm. The other side will be freezing. How's my... Speaking of which, how's my... Oh, I got plenty of shelter space. A bunch of people must have died recently. And Hex has finished her little exploration mission over here. What did you get? Uh, more things that... Wait, can you just go get those? Oh, finally, there's one we can just go get. Thank you. There's 244 points right there. Go over and get those. I don't need to put up an outpost for that. Some medical supplies, some medical supplies. And then we just might keep that party rolling over here. You're still looking for stuff. Uh, where is Marshall? Most importantly, where is Marshall? Marshall, watch out for the boars. Oh, no. Uh, Garot's already in combat. Okay, balance power is good. Marshall, I really... Normally, I would send you into backup Garot, but you just got to get to town, man. You are going to go down at any second. I think Garot can handle that by herself. I'm going to take one person out of the lumber yard because we're pretty decent on lumber. We got plenty of lumber, and I need some free people. I need people moving things around around here. How's the tool making coming on, kid? You doing good with that? You like that? You into your job? I mean, you're making tools. That part's cool. Wow, we've already sucked up all that clothing. Well, hopefully people won't be whining about having jackets. You all need jackets. Everybody's got a jacket icon over their heads. Field is done, but I've got no one to put in it. That's kind of the problem. Uh, let's put uh, potatoes in this one. Who can I free up here? Do I have two people in fishing? No, I just have a small child fishing. Water collector's only one person. Do we... How much do we need someone in the burial pit, Chloe? If... There's no one to bury. Do you see where I'm going with that, Chloe? 
Like if nobody died recently, like you could basically work this part time, Chloe, part time. So you could be like a full time field worker. And then, you know, you walk into town, you're like, oh, Ben died again. And you're like, oh, that's cool because I'm Chloe, the part time burial person, the undertaker, the coroner, all of that. Uh, we defeated the hostiles. That'll be Garot with the boars. Yeah, that is definitely going to be Garot with the boars. Who's done a thing? Uh, Garot. Yeah, you're done. Oh, wow. A lot of money for that. Cool. Just come on home. And who's finished doing a thing? It's probably, yeah, it's Platy. What'd you find over here? Ooh, nothing. Except some more raiders. Okay. Why don't you then, uh, on your way home, go grab these okay. medical supplies. Ragged people at the gate. Again. There's always ragged people at the gate. Give a lot of food, give a little food. Got nothing. I would love an option to say, you can just join us, and then you can have food sort of all the time. We've seen this come up before. We're going to give them a little bit of food to make them go away. Because we don't really want to deal with a fight right now. And that has no impact on the colony. Ah, uh, the school is done. Okay, neat. I bet I don't have anyone to teach in the school. No, I am once again in a labor shortage. So all of those doubled up production things that I did, we got to shave those off. Okay, we can't have two people in the logging camp. Uh, guard tower. Might have to deactivate one of the guard towers. Maybe that's a warehouse, Dave. Nobody works there. Oh, there I was thinking it's not worth getting concrete because I don't have any concrete. I have concrete. I don't know if I ever noticed this was a concrete ruin. But there's my concrete right there. I can get it. Well, now I'm kind of making a beeline for the other thing. Entertaining people. We're low on clothes. Things are happening. I'm trying to find people to shave out of anything. Um, no, I can't really get anyone. It, there's not two people in the guards in the reinforced gate. No. No, what else is going on? No, just one society, one guy in the society depot. We need five more fun boxes to build the thing in the place. Might send salt is always good with those. I bet there's some more out on the map somewhere. That's a house, Dave. Nobody works there. People just live there. Nope. I got basically nobody that I can take out of anywhere to do anything. Actually, the secure lab. Are you doing anything without power? Are you doing anything? Do you have any kind of function? Because if you don't, I could just sort of temporarily disable you. We're doing that. You're fired and you are paused. Okay? I don't think you're actually doing anything. We researched communal living. Oh, we are currently researching communal living. Excuse me. Let me go uh, back to research here for a sec. That's going to get me the shanty and the tenement. Good. Good. Hopefully the shanty and tenements aren't a big resource investment. I'm hoping it's just like wooden plastic. That at least freed up somebody to go work in the new small field, which is good. Okay. Now what? Uh, does somebody need to talk to me out here? Who's Who's got a thing? Why are you flashing at me? Oh, it's Hex. Okay, great. Yeah, you finished all of that. Fantastic. Great job. Wish there was more of those. Uh, again, while you're here, why don't you just do a little bit more scouting? Maybe there'll be another one of those around there somewhere. You took a tiny little bit of rad damage, but I think it's fine. Oh, thank God Marshall's home. Marshall is home. Okay, Marshall, day off for you. Look how fast he's healing. He's just slapping band-aids on this thing and going, Nah, I'm good. Send me out again, man. Send me out again. I got this. All right, we've done communal living, and thanks to Hex, we're moving right on to aggression release. There's a group of survivors turning up. What's your deal? What's your problem? Ah, you have a fighter. You have a fighter. You have anyone at all, frankly. It's basically a free specialist is what I'm seeing here. One adult, one kid, four elders, some stuff. Oh, we're absolutely accepting you, Scrappa. Now, Scrappa, actually not as good. Um, both Garot and Marshall do more damage. He only does 20 damage. These guys do 25. Look at how fast Marshall is healing. He's like Wolverine. He's amazing. He is like Wolverine, actually. He kind of looks like Wolverine. Uh, let's get a shanty going on. We got new houses. Let's do a thing here. A shanty. Some protection against radiation, not destroyed as easily as tents, must be heated during winter storms. Cool. We can do all of that. A tenement will do what? Cost effective. Decreased birth rate. I can cope with that. That's fine. Less likely to reproduce. Yeah, it would be a little tricky to get your reproduction thing going on when there's seven other people in the same room. I mean, unless you're into that sort of thing. I don't judge. Can we get you in range? No, we can't really. Of a burn pit. I could get one. I don't actually need this, but I can get one right over here. I just want to build it for the sake of building it. Now, my first instinct is to send Scrappa immediately out as a settler. But by the same token... 
I kind of can use the fighter, having an extra fighter, even if he's not as good as Marshall. I mean, nobody's as good as Marshall, and he's not as good as Garrot. Honestly, nobody's as good as Garrot either. Garrot kicks butt. Um, it would be handy to have another fighter. What I will do is send you out to the world map to just, I don't know, we're going to, like we did with Marshall, we're just going to test drive you against some weak bandits. So what have we got? Come here. Where'd you go? Uh, you, Scrappa. I really can't say it any other way. You just need to say it, Scrappa. Uh, weak bandits. Okay, balance power is good. Go, go oh, take yeah. them out, Scrappa. Let's just see how you do with that. Well, the shanty is done. Does this hold more people? Four out of four. How many does the tent hold? Three out of three. So it holds one more person. I should probably start gradually replacing the tents with shanties. Actually, can I just upgrade? Can I just upgrade you to a shanty? Uh, let me see here. Upgraded from a tent into a crowded tent. No. I can upgrade you, but not to what I want. Uh, aggression release is done. Fantastic. We're getting a fight club. This should absolutely be right in the center of town. This is your evening's entertainment right here. Somebody go build that. Uh, I probably should have looked at what I actually need. Oh, I need more fun boxes. Okay. Then that kind of moves my position forward on not doing the, the thing, the school or whatever it was in Sintown. Oh, am I going to get a rep hit, though? Am I going to get a rep hit if I cancel that? Go back up to Sintown. We need the fun boxes more than you do. Can I cancel you? Cancel society. Resources will be refunded. But no rep hit. Yes, I do want to, actually. Sorry, Sintown. I would love to give you a school. It's probably a gambling school. It teaches you how to play blackjack and stuff like that. Um, but we need the fun boxes way more than you do. And better news, Salt is done getting those shotguns. I don't suppose there's any big batches of fun around here, is there? Um, hang on, hold that. Oh, no, no, sorry, Salt. I actually did not. I'll come back to you in a sec. Um, Hex, what did you find over here? Oh, oh, can we get these? Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Salt, you are coming this way, actually. Uh, you're going to go get those fun boxes. Okay. Oh, is this a scavenger one? It's a scavenger one. Why? You can go get these nuts and bolts. That's cool. What is this? It's car. We're getting another car that I can't All use. Right. Um, Hex, you're coming home in style. Get the car, get in the car, and then go home. And Salt, you're going to have to walk home. Sorry, you don't get to come in the car with Hex. So you walk home at some point. Scrap is still out there. Where am I going to get more fun boxes from at this time of night? All right, Scrap is over here doing his thing. He's taking a little bit of a knock, but he's doing fine against the dead rats. I think we'll just let him do his thing. I'm sure he'll be done with that in no time at all. All right. I need lots and lots of things. I'm also not researching anything right at this exact moment. Is there anything I can get that doesn't require fun boxes? Like Remembrance. I could get a memorial. No, I want to go back. Now that I know I've actually got some concrete, let's go get concrete scavenging. Cue that up. Going through what? Bartering to get there. What does that actually do? The Trade Center. Literally the thing I've been looking for this entire time. Opened up the episode with I Need a Trade Center. It's right here, Dave. Trade Center. Does all the things that you would like it to do. Okay, yeah, well, we'll definitely go through that to get to this. I need both of those things kind of quickly if we could. Uh, what else is going on? Marshall is almost fully healed. Garot is fully healed. Uh, Garot, do you want to go, like, do a thing? Yes. Want to go, like, just, like, kill some people? I mean, we don't really need to, but why don't you just go kill some people? I, I feel you'd get bored if you weren't out killing all the time. Uh, no, probably not against these guys. Those guys weren't nothing. Who's over here? Dead rats. Okay. Evenly matched, you say? There's Hex in the car coming back. Uh, maybe not. Maybe I'm gonna, I want to send two fighters out. You could go back up Scrappa. Doesn't need it. But you could go do that. Go do that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Outpost taken over by hostiles. Oh, not okay. Not okay. Uh, Garot. Garot. And actually, you know what? Probably Marshall. Marshall's healed up enough that he can deal. No, no, no. You ain't taking my science outpost. Let me be super, super clear about that. Marshall, go out to the world map. Marshall, I have a very important mission for you. Annihilate the dead rats. Well, we got seven kids in school. That's kind of cool. Chloe, Natalie, Nora... Neat. Uh, Scarlet, you just became an adult. 
you should leave school now because now it's creepy, Scarlet. So, you know, they'll be educated. I assume they'll be better at things. That seems what a school should be doing. Is this my uh, tailor shop? Yeah, it's kind of slow. Kind of slow. I'm sure at some point later we can probably get an extra person in there. I'm, I'm no doubt that's a researchy kind of thing and get that moving a little bit faster. The tools seem to be stabilized at this point. We're producing one, which is not great, uh, but there's none breaking today, so we're kind of up on that. Water is a little low again. Huh. We have quite a lot stored. I'm not worried about storage, but water is a little bit low. We could uh, put up another well. That would be a thing to do. So if we put up a water well, uh, I don't think we have one. We probably do because I put them up all the time. 100% uh, over here, right by the field. That makes a total amount of sense. Put one up over there. And I'm going to bring the road out in this direction as well. It's long overdue, frankly. We should have had the road out here ages and ages ago. Bring it out there and then down by the fishing piers like that. Damn those toxic piles. You ain't wrong. All right, it's another specialist time. What have you got now? Oh, Mug is back. Mug, I can actually afford you this time. I am inclined to do that. And you're going to immediately become a settler. Because uh, I don't like your name. I don't like the way you look. Nothing about you is appealing. So I'd like you to just go away and turn into something better. Yeah, we're doing that. Uh, where, where do I think I'm going, first of all, before I do any of that nonsense? Uh, we've got an outpost up there. Could put one up here. That would be more research. I could think about doing a scavenging outpost, because there's those fun boxes right there, and I desperately need those. Can we destroy them later? Uh, good question. Can I... So my outpost here. Could I could demolish it later. Great. So I could put... I'll, I'll waste a settler doing that. Okay, here's what's going to happen. I'm sorry to hold you up, Mugga. I'm just, I'm very, I'm very concerned with my science versus my literally everything else. So Outpost Depot, we're going to create a settler out of Mugga. You are confirmed. Yes. Okay, off you go, Chief. Where'd you go? Uh, there you are. You are going to go over here and do a scavenging outpost when you get there. Yeah, Marshall is already in here and getting the job done. Garrod is right behind, but I, I think, honestly, the fight's going to be over by the time she gets there. So we can clear out that and get those science points coming back in. That would be very, very nice. Now what? I'm largely just waiting for, well, first off, fun boxes. Secondly, researching the concrete who's even what's a thing and the trade thing. All right, water well is in place. And boy, that was a big bump up in water there. I should put more water storage up. That would be wicked smart. That would be one of the smartest things I've done today. In fact, right now, it is the smartest thing I've done today. Uh, clean water storage. Well, why don't we put that down by the well? Uh, somebody defeated somebody. That might have been Scrappa, actually. His fight was kind of coming to a close. Let's do another water storage, like right over here. And you know what? While i am kind of got a surplus of materials, I'm going to do... Where do the burn pits live? Where do those live again? I kind of forget that. That's down in uh, health. So let's do a burner, uh, sort of right around this area, like that. And then I want another shanty up here. May as well start making some nice houses. Flip that guy over there, like that. And then probably another outhouse would be a great idea. That seems like something people really are into. Traders at the gate while I was doing all of that nonsense. Blood-stained goods. Oh dear. Covered in blood. Covered in blood. So I could get some food for some things and less happiness. No, we're going to flat out refuse to trade with you. I don't need either of these. I don't need, I don't need food. I'm making tools. I mean, the tools would be nice. No, we're going to... We're going to politely refuse this. Gives the colony murderous looks. Are you going to come back here and try and murder us later? Is that what you meant by murderous looks? Who needs to check in with me? It is... Uh, who's flashing up here? Nobody? Somebody's done something. It's probably Scrappa. Yep, it was Scrappa. So a few antibiotics. No big deal. Really, it was just a test run for Scrappa. And you did fine. Oh, uh, I could actually send you out another one. Do we have any other weak ones over here? The dead rats are over here. Evenly matched... And you are also the dead rats. Uh, kind of? Actually, you know what would be smarter? Oh, you're done too, Nadia. Cool, I'll check in with you in a sec. Make sure that the sectors that we're setting up in don't have bandits. 
that's probably going to reduce the amount of your thing has been taken over by bandits. I don't see any around. Um, Scrappa, how banged up are you? Not very banged up. Go take these guys out. All right, so Nadia got some more antibiotics. That's very, very cool. Uh, you could... That's the uh, outpost. Yeah, I need a scavenging outpost for that. I need a science outpost for that. Nadia, just for right now, just come on home. Well, Omicron wants me to do another tavern that I can't do, but Sintown wants me to do the tent, and I believe I can actually do that. Pretty sure I can do that. Yeah, it will be plus five population to them, but it'll also be a hundred rep to me. So yeah, let's uh let's go do that. Come here. I can because I canceled the other building. There's no reason I can't. Modest tents, greenhouse school. Oh, there's your trenches and trading posts. There's your trenches and trading posts right there. It was right here, Dave. You just have to look for the thing. What does trenches do for me? Bandit raids are three days slower. To you or to me? That I don't fully understand. Okay, well, this is easy. This one's an easy one. Go ahead. Make the tents for this guy. We'll load up the stuff. We'll drive it over there. Well, we won't drive it over there because we don't know how our cars work yet because we don't have a garage. I see a lot of storage is full. What's your problem? Do you need a new work area? Okay, uh, go cut some of these trees down. Yeah, no surprise. Marshall got the job done before Garot even showed up. Fantastic job, guys. So, do I still have a thing there or do I... I think I need to set another one up. Yeah, I think it basically got destroyed. Got, could you move? I it might be right underneath your portrait picture. I think it is. We might be okay. I'll check the second Garot moves out of the way there. Um, um, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Somebody stole some money. Bummer. I, that is a bummer, actually. I didn't have much money. Bandit raid, you say? Bandit raid. None of my fighters are home right now. Not one. Not one of them. And there's a good chance these conflicts will escalate into a firefight. Okay, I, I got it. I, I do got it. Uh, how far away are... Well, Marshall and Garrod are not that far away. Scrappa, uh, come here. I'm... Ah, uh, uh, you're already in a fight. I could have you retreat, but... I think it'll be okay. And everyone else is on their way home, too. Uh, so... I think broadly everyone's on their way home. Things are done, things are done, and things are done. Buildings need energy. Yeah, I know they do. I'm well aware of that. Meteor shower. Oh, what a great time for a meteor shower. Oh, I'm excited about that. Chloe is irradiated. It's a fantastic time for a meteor shower. Stop telling me about things. Okay, so we do still have our science outpost up here. Great, it doesn't get destroyed. I was a little worried about that when I couldn't immediately see it. You're up here. Build a scavenging outpost. Yeah, build one of those. My I I feel this is the right thing to do, but I'm not 100% on this because I really want the science. I super want that science. I'm not going to have the money to afford another specialist when they roll in, or probably not anyone unless something unusual happens. Uh, no real sign. Uh, well, hang on, hang on, hang on. There was an alert there. Defeat a bandit camp. Okay, probably. I, I think Scrap is doing that right now. That should be fine. Um, what, uh, when are these bandits coming in? The ones who are coming in, who we were specifically told bandits are coming in. Because I don't see anyone coming in. Good news is Marshall is home, and Garot should be right behind him. Hex is here with the car that we can't use. Okay, I'm feeling a little better about bandits coming in with Marshall here. We all are, really. And I think that is a good place to call it on Surviving the Aftermath for today. Bit of a cliffhanger here. Because bandits are allegedly on the way, meteors are definitely on the way, but I feel we've made progress. We've got some new buildings up, we're making clothing, we're making tools, and we're on our way to concrete. We're not that far away from concrete. We can actually get some of that done, and that will get some of these other buildings ready to go. And we finally get those huh, fun boxes. We can have post-apocalyptic fight club. We'll pick up some more of Surviving the Aftermath again next time. Guys, do please keep the comments coming and let me know what you think of this. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up. No end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours. And we'll see you next time. Oh, what is that? That's like a person. Oh, hang on. Da-dum. Da-dum.
Dum 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 da dum 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 da dum. Ah, what are you doing, Amanda? What are you up to? Are you are you figuring out how cows work? Because that's the wrong end of the cow. I assure you, Amanda. Citizens drop go. Everything is under control. This is this is not a fire. This is not a fire. This is an aggressive urban redevelopment program. I have a cylinder. I broke Dave. Broke Dave. <laughs> Talk about yourselves on the back. <laughs> I just dropped my controller. <laughs> oh my goodness.